I'm Demi Lovato, singer, activist, and UFO experiencer. Singer, activist, and UFO experiencer. I'm Demi Lovato, singer, activist, and UFO experiencer. So Demi Lovato decided to take some much needed time off from their very busy and influential activism against Froyo companies in order to address the world's most pressing issues at this time and answer the questions that we hold dear to our hearts. Such questions, you know, as does four episodes really constitute the term season? How low can an IMDb go? And is the term alien derogatory? But most important of all, of course, if you ever do meet an ET. Could you date them? started since Demi saw a UFO that got a lot of likes and shares. It was at that moment that they knew it was important to fully monetize this cosmic event. So since you and I are but a speck of dust, an NPC, a white noise, a fly on the wall to Demi's world, you and I will just be observing, we'll be following along on this journey. So just for some quick context, Demi decided to put the best friend Matthew and sister Dallas in an RV and just, you know, travel around America to find the universe's most eligible bachelor. Yes, that is the journey. We are on it. And you know what? For the sake of that, we are not even going to question. We're not even going to challenge the idea of whether or not aliens exist. We're just going to accept that that's just a premise because Demi is not stopping at point A. We are going all the way to point Z in this entire series. I will only in this video be covering the first episode. It's fully packed. It's got a lot. If you like this, we'll do more. If if not one and done. For this specific episode though, Demi decided to introduce us to the UFO bros and their probe cast, not to be confused with the podcast. The, pro the probe cast. Probe cast. Yes. Probe cast. And then of course we're going to be doing some regressive hypnotherapy. Because why not? It's time that Demi unleashes the fourth eye and tells us what's really up. Even though, as per usual, I always say do not send any hate or harassment to anybody mention this video. I do wish to extend my harassment disclaimer all the way to extraterrestrials that might be listening to my channel because obviously I have as much chance as being picked as Demi does so you know work your magic ETs do not be hated or sent hate <laughs> we're all inclusive over here okay so I'm open to it let's yeah, yeah I'm open I'm open let's see what the UFO bros gotta show us Ho! So this season starts off in any kind of way in which a logical series would start off and that is Demi questioning whether or not they were abducted or astral projected because of course it wasn't just a dream. I don't know what to call it, I don't know what it was and so I, I say that it was an astral projection but it, maybe I actually did like go somewhere. Yeah. And Matthew and the sister are there as so-called skeptics but we soon find out that it does not take a lot to change their mind. Anyway, they are in for a penny, in for a pound, as am you and I, so I'm not even here to judge them. Again, this is Demi's world and we're all just visiting. <laughs> so they're in the RV, they're on their mission, and then Demi informs them that they are about to go meet the UFO bros. Joe and I, we've been doing this for over 10 years. You guys, what's up? This is UFO bros. We need your help to locate the origins of this mysterious alien video. So obviously there is such a thing as a UFO hotspot. Yes, of course there is. So in 2020, there were like 12,000 reported sightings and alien abductions. Um, I just have some questions here though. How do you report a sighting? Like, do they go through Instagram posts or is there a specific hashtag? You know, like with, with degenerate sub communities, like you can use hashtags and then find each other, you know, like the, those, those pro Anna people or maps or whatever. Like, is there a specific code word that you put in if you spotted a UFO in this area and then they automatically have a number? Or is there like an official hotline? I don't know, Americans, could you please drop it in the comments? How do you report your UFO? UFO sightings or do they just tag you on insta please let me know that would be like dope so the UFO bros informed Demi and company that there is a sky watch and you know what sky watch means look up <laughs> 
That's it. It's a sky watch, actually. Okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. So the idea is to look at the sky and find a UFO. So a more skeptical minded person might point out that, oh, this is confirmation bias. You are literally looking for something. So of course you will find something, but no, 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 no. No, stop being so skeptical and rational. This is not the time, place or venue. Nope, the UFO bros instead casually let us know that there have been other people who have experienced this thing called a time lapse. That's like one of the major signs that you were abducted. This is in March 3rd, 1953. The name is Sarah and Jan. And two hours have gone by. And apparently Sarah and Jane came to this specific cabin that they go to in this canyon. And during their stay, at some point during the night, like a time lapse of two hours that just they have no memory of it and it just didn't happen and it was in the middle of the night and so sarah and jane did as you and i probably would do they got in their truck and nope the fuck out of that situation so apparently that would be like the main sign that i'm just I'm, I'm informing you if you ever experience a missing two hours and you're almost definitely certain that you're not on the strongest types of stuff and you reported your sighting then you have to go to the regressive hypnotherapy where they trace back your mental steps and then you can come to an actual realization you could you could like re-meet your abductors and like be friends with them i mean i think we usually call something like that stockholm syndrome but this time it's a good thing because demi told us it is I remember beings asking me and i said yes it is very humbling because i just feel like a little speck of life in the universe i can't believe they're paying attention to me so before the show quickly turns into somebody else's story, we turn back into Demi to see how they experience the Skywatch. I'm more like a line than a dot. The rest of them are all normal stars. Perfectly round. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if the the one with... That's yeah, that's wild. it. You're dead on, Demi. It almost looks like a shooting star taking off. Like it's like making that like line trail. That's stuck. It's about ready to shoot. Yeah. Off. So there's a sighting and that's pretty exciting you know i mean it's it's not moving and but it's really bright and it's long and it's no way that this is a star nope nope it's real confirmed what are you gonna say now hashtag illuminati confirmed scary feeling to have confirmation that this is real so the UFO bros then quickly tell Demi that there have been other people who have experienced UFO sightings that they can reference right now and a meetup would just be super fucking fantastic. So Demi is like, cheers, let's peace out. And they head on to go to a meetup and this is where we meet Geraldine, one of the most interesting characters in this entire story. Demi, step aside. Geraldine is the Froyo of the story. We are not alone in the universe. I used to be one of those people. But when it happens to you, you really begin to question your existence and why we're here. So the most important thing that I want you to realize throughout Geraldine's story and to keep in mind is that almost everything in this story could have, should have, would have, probably did happen to Demi as well. Obvi. So Demi's going to remind us throughout this entire story how it's not about Geraldine and that um, she must just like now kind of shut the fuck up because this is not her story and she's not paying that good cash dollar bill. So um, yeah, we're, we wrap it up pretty soon. I'm just so excited to hear your story. Thank you. I also had cysts. I'm starting to think that maybe it wasn't an astral projection that I had, but that maybe I had an abduction situation as well. But we do find out that Geraldine has actually had like multiple children and how we do know is because she has cysts on her ovaries or something scarring to that. Uh, uh, it, it's Her doctor said that means that she probably had a bunch of miscarriages. I became pregnant without being uh, sexually active. Had several pregnancies or miscarriages. Wow. Wow. Geraldine actually had 24 children with alien cult group people, but it was so consensual and lovely. And here are some images of these said children. Where I physically was taken out of my bedroom on board craft by these greys and introduced to my hybrid children. I made some paintings of them. It almost looks like a glass noodle. Their neck is longer and their shoulders are more round and very frail body. 
adorable. So here's Geraldine's artistic reimagining of her alien hybrid babies. The resemblance is uncanny. Anyway, so Geraldine then suggests that Demi tries out regressive hypnotherapy. This is important because the idea of the regressive hypnotherapy, as is explained to us, is so that you can relive your experiences. And if you do happen to relive them while you're in a hypnotic state, then it means it happened. It definitely happened and you'll be able to re-meet the various characters. And when you re-meet these characters, you can reintroduce yourself. And then, then you can like exchange recipes and braid hair and find algae. You know who is single in the mix yes queen people need regressive therapy so that they can move past the block that we see is often inserted by the ets which prevents them from accessing that event in their life so as i understood what laurie explained here to us the idea of going through this hypnotherapeutic experience is like a, a consciousness expansion is the term so a spiritual experience yes. for you. This will be more of what we call a consciousness expansion. The fourth, the fifth, the seventh eye, you have to open all of those and allow in like the good auras and not the bad auras so that you can see the earth from the skies and the heavens, but also be here. Yeah, something like that. I think it involves a lot of essential oil. I'm not sure. It could be, would be, should be. This person listening to this video right now, you and I are mere mortals. We would never understand. We could not relate. This is truly just above us. This is akin to the goop thing. I just didn't get it either. What the fuck are you doing, Achievo? <laughs> I actually had lost time, but I also have had contact ever since I was two years old in my crib. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So you're saying you had a time lapse, i.e. you have missing information at the age of two. Yeah, I would, I would say that's a pretty relatable experience. Good God. And I'm going under hypnosis today, so I'm very nervous. You'll be my subject. Yes, I will. I knew I wanted to do it. I'm just, uh, I don't know what to expect. And I can't wait to tell you about some of my experiences. I can't wait to hear about them. I already intuitively know where they're gonna go. That's the sound of money. Fresh printed money, money, money. So then we went through the regressive hypnotherapy and actually met and spoke to the aliens that they had met and they were abducted from. And that was apparently pretty great. You're in space. Mm -hmm. Do they want to show you anything else? Mm -hmm. Ask them if there's a name that you should call them. My light doctors. Demi's battled with darkness a lot. It makes sense that those beings are there to help protect her from herself. And so much so that they decided to, you know, exchange some deeds, like get to on a first name basis. And Demi announced that these people are called My Light Doctors. And apparently the idea is for them to stop Demi from hurting themselves, which, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, much wisdom. Um, the earth is healing. We, we really need a Demi to stop hurting Demi. Now the earth can finally start healing. God bless. <laughs> Look, there are some really valuable lessons in the story. And I think the most important lesson of all is that Demi really truly is the center of the universe. I know that we almost for a second forgot, but this is what it is. You were the chosen one! And you know what, through this, Demi has stated that their encounters with the aliens have taught them that the big deal, the, the key to fixing the universe, is that we need 1% of people to start meditating. That will solve every single thing. And, and also, can we just be serious about the whole fact that aliens are good, they are good people, and they are not only not here not to hurt us, nope they want to fix us they want to help us be better because luckily we have demi to represent us and so now we know that we are truly worthy of the magic that is the alien encounter so since demi is our representative we are so fucking lucky hashtag blessed we know that the aliens do truly really care about us and so what i'm essentially saying here is that one percent of my audience y'all need to volunteer yourselves as tribute and go sit somewhere in a desert and meditate until demi tells you you can stop meditating then the earth will be healed it's very fucking simple why can't we just do the plan the plan is laid out god damn it people do we all need to be abducted for this to make sense <laughs> 
That's also another thing though. Um, there's something consensual about being abducted. I have no idea how any of you would feel about it. Please tell me in the comments. But usually my perception of ab abduction is a pretty bad one. And I would like not to be abducted. It's a demi, it's a demi thing and it's not a me thing. We don't need no thoughts when we got a demi. <laughs> so ultimately, do I think this IMDB rating is fair? Well, if we are talking about that overused or the clash of problematic patterns. <laughs> then sure, okay. But are we talking entertainment value? Because then how fucking no, this show had alien hybrid children. Yeah, but I've come to find I'm only suited to be a spaceman. Wait, there's something big and it's coming right at you! Dear God, no. Explorer, what is it? What the- Okay, so it's at least worth four sugar-free froyos. But that's just been my perception of the first episode. If you'd love for me to review and narrate the rest of the season, all four episodes, please let me know down in the comments below. And you know what? I'm dumb as fucking bricks. I don't know shit about my UFO lore. I need to go read up, study up, meditate some more. And hopefully then, by the end of it, I won't have to just casually say that I'm just a thought with an opinions and I don't know shit about fuck. Peace.